Okay, well, first of all, just got the great news. Vols win by 15, so uh, congratulations to Coach Martin and our basketball team, and uh, again, excited for them. Uh, you know, very, very productive day today. Anytime you can go and scrimmage with no coaches present, you know, being on the sidelines and really let them play, there's so many things that when you try to create game-like situation scenarios that present themselves that sometimes you don't practice and practice. So, you know, ups and downs, uh, obviously offensively, we started exceptionally fast. Defensively, we did not. I didn't like the way our defense came out. I didn't like their approach. I didn't think we had much energy. And uh, I thought our offense did a great job of driving the football. We had some big plays. And then as the scrimmage went on, the situational scrimmage, our defense started playing with the energy that we expect. And we started generating three and outs. We started generating turnovers. So, you know, as a head coach, you know, when one side of the ball does well, it's great to see, but then you worry about the other side of the ball. But, uh, you know, I thought it was extremely productive. We'll come back, we'll grade the film. And now it's a great barometer for where we're at. So when we come back with the final 10 practice of spring, we know where to really emphasize uh, our practices, our meeting times, and so on and so forth. So I'll answer any questions you may have. Butch, I know you still have to watch the film, but just off the top of your head, how do you evaluate the four quarterbacks, especially with that you put them in with so many different, you know, ones, twos, everything like that? Well, first of all, we can't turn the football over. You know, and we had the interception in the red zone, which, you know, you have points on the board. You can't do that. And these are all great learning experiences. That's why you practice. You know, we had the, the uh, fumbled exchange on the goal line as well. That can't happen. But, you know, I thought we made a lot of the, the, the big plays, the big throws that we needed to, the routine throws. It was great to see the, the completion throws that we expect. You know, I thought they did some great things. Uh, you know, uh, it was great to see. I thought uh, Jalen Hurd really started to run like we expect him to run. He still needs to learn how to get the ball north and south. I see our younger players starting to gain confidence in their style of play, in our team style of play. I'm encouraged by what I see with Josh Malone, our young tight ends. You know, defensive line wise, you know, that's a developmental position. Same thing with our offensive line is, you know, we're asking a lot of these, you know, young freshmen. And, but we're going to need them. And so every time we can scrimmage like this is invaluable. But we need to grow up in a hurry. We are nowhere at all where we need to be. And I think our youth continues to show just in our overall consistency. Has Jalen shown that in practice before, that, that, that burst, that ability to get out and make big plays? He has. You know, he's working himself back into football shape. And there's a difference. And he hasn't played football in a year, you know, with recovering from the, from the surgery. So. Each day of practice, I see him getting better and better. I see the improvement coming, but also I see the confidence now uh, getting in him. And so he understands what, what he needs to work on. And I said it is the maturity this football team will show by the way we come back after spring break. You know, on our approach when we meet as a team on Sunday, our approach on Monday and Tuesday, I'm really very, very interested to see the leadership and what happens when we come back from spring break. Which what's the outlook on, on Marlon? Seems like he's got his. Yeah, it's his wrist right now, and uh, you know he'll benefit from spring break. He's going to stay here. He's going to rehab it. We fully anticipate him to, to finish spring football, but a lot is how the bone heals in the next 10 days. It seems like Corey Vereen showed up a couple of times. And you kind of like what you saw at him. He did. You know, uh, we've really challenged him to bring a presence off the edge. He's been playing exceptionally high right now. He's been playing too high. Our entire lines of scrimmage in terms of offense and defensive lines have been playing too high. So we've really challenged them, and I thought Corey had a little bit more explosiveness coming off the football today. Just in general, what have been your impressions of what, how the offensive line has carried this first week of spring, and what do work, you want to see work from in these progress. Lines? You know, it takes time to build that, you know, that consistency, that chemistry. I mean, you're, we're starting, you know, a, a, a young man who should be a senior in high school right now at right tackle. We're starting another individual who just got here in Blair at left tackle. You know, so we have some individuals playing for the first time, playing at this level. So you're going to go through the growing pains, but I've liked in terms of they've had a, a workmanlike approach to every single day. And just like any scrimmage, there's good, there's bad, there's corrections, but valuable teaching points. How important was it, Butch, for you guys to be able to scrimmage like this today right, right before spring? Were you so physical and kept the quarterbacks alive most of the day? Well, critical, you know, and, and it was kind of a feel thing to see how much we wanted the quarterbacks alive. But, you know, so much occurs when you make the quarterback alive. First of all, I want to see what players 
could create plays in terms of the quarterback position, who could manufacture themselves out of, you know, uh, you know, bad situations. And so it was great to see them create also the scramble drill, but also to see how we could tackle a quarterback in space, and we did not do a good job with that. So we'll continue to make them live as, as the season progresses. From a